Ukraine accuses Russia this morning of playing a trick, saying Russian promises after negotiations in Istanbul to drastically reduce military activity around Kyiv and the nearby city of Chernihiv is merely a ploy for time to rearm and consolidate forces. President Zelensky saying Ukraine isn't letting its guard down. The signals we hear from the negotiations can be called positive, he says, but they do not drown out the explosions of Russian shells, adding Ukraine isn't willing to surrender any territory to Russia. Promises also can't drown out what Russia is doing to the city of Mariupol. New satellite images show how Russian strikes have leveled entire blocks. The Pentagon also expressing deep skepticism about Russia's supposed trust-building withdrawals around Kyiv. We're not prepared to call this a retreat or even a withdrawal. Russia invaded Ukraine over a month ago from three directions. From the north, down from Belarus toward Kyiv, from the east toward Kharkiv, and from the south toward Mariupol. Russia's northern front around Kyiv has been a disaster. Huge Russian losses and logistical failures, including a 40-mile-long convoy that ran out of gas. The Pentagon believes Russia could now focus on the other fronts while rebuilding forces around Kyiv. This was a Russian position. You can see the Z that has become the mark of this war on the Russian armored vehicle. And it seems that they were destroyed just as they were camping out in this area. You can see all of their equipment, clothing, flak jackets and food just left here right at the back of this armored vehicle. Across Ukraine now, they're not bracing for a Russian ceasefire, not taking the Russians' word, but preparing for more Russian attacks. Richard Engel reporting us for us from Kharkiv this morning. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.